so we can get protected and we, so we have Krishna's lord to speak. Why is Krishna wearing tilak? He doesn't need any protection or he doesn't need to wear his own lotus feet. Why is he wearing tilak? <laughs> Excellent question. Excellent question. So yes, you are right that the tilak actually signifies, you know, the two walls that we have, the two lines. And the reason why we, you know, clean the center part is that Krishna can place his lotus feet on our forehead and we put the Tulasi because Tulasi is always residing on the uh, lotus feet of Krishna. So why does Krishna need to wear his own Tilak? You know, why, why does he need to do that? Because the Tilak has a second meaning also. The Tilak is the personification of Srimati Radharani. So that is the reason why the Vaishnavas adorn Tilak. This is called Gopi Chandan. It is not just ordinary, any material. It is the Tilak that we wear is made out of Gopi Chandan. It is made out of, you know, it is therefore it is actually called the personification of Srimati Radharani, the embodiment of Srimati Radharani. So therefore Krishna wears this Tilak in the mood that he's actually having Srimati Radharani stamped on his forehead, that he is the property of Srimati Radharani. And in the childhood, Mother Jashoda, she would put Tilak on for Krishna by taking the names of Narayan, Vishnu, Keshava, just like how we wear Tilak, Mother Jashoda would put Kaudang Tilak for Krishna and she would do different kinds of Tilak for Krishna to protect him from all the different asuras and from the demons attacking Krishna. But Krishna always wears tilak because it is the personification of Srimati Radharani and to declare that he is the property of Srimati Radharani. Mm -hmm.